It was another time. Nigeria would perhaps be taking her political liberty through a democratic election in which Moshud Kashimawo Abiola contested with others. It was a time to shake off the military reign of many years after the military coup in 1983. The then military head of state, General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida, had given his words to allow the nation transit to civil rule by spearheading the democratic elections. <laughs> Voters stormed out to cast their ballot for their choice candidates, and the election was widely adjudged the freest and fairest. MKO Abiola had won the election convincingly, but that was not to be. It is true that the presidential election was generally seen to be free, fair, and peaceful. However, there was in fact a huge array of electoral practices virtually in all the states of the Federation before the actual voting began. The adjudged winner of the election, Chief MK Abiola, moved around regions declaring his victory at the polls against the annulment. The people of this country went to polls on Saturday, June 12, 1993, and without let or hindrance, chose me as their president. Didn't they? The International Observer Group says so. Next, itself says so. They know it, and they said it. In his affidavit to the Court of Appeal in Kaduna, next said the results were already unknown. I won. He was arrested for treasonable felony and incarcerated, where he died after months. You will recall that in spite of these overtures and good gestures by government, Chief MQ Abiola fragrantly perpetuated acts which breached the laws of the land, but government is his magnanimity, never gave him serious attention. His most recent action of declaring himself the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria incited the public to insurrection and attempting to topple the government by force with a view to insulating himself, installing himself as President, however led to his arrest by the law enforcement agents. Abdul Abiola, a little boy then, and unaware of his father's political troubles, recalls what he knows. In his tender age, he lost his father and mother, Kudirat Abiola, in a political tragedy. I think it was around the time after the um, election was annulled, and he was just on his way out. I think he had gotten information that uh, the um, agents of evil and destruction and and, no, and the agents of backwardness wanted to come and arrest him. He decided to, to leave the country. So that day I was actually playing soccer on the football field. And it was funny because my brother never used to venture to that part of the house. So when I saw him, I just thought, okay, well, okay, he's his house. He can do whatever he wants. Then the next thing I see, he gives me and my younger brother a hug. And then he climbs the fence. I believe that's what, you know, this is 24 years later. And so if we're talking about somebody's legacy or Jews being in vain, think about that. That 24 years, people are still talking about what he did. So you see that you know his dreams, his aspirations will still live on even after he's been gone. So I, I don't think I don't think they, they they wasted their lives. Even we have like 10, um, 14 million children out of school now. This is a disaster. These were issues that were even pertinent in 1993. And that should let you know that the um, like see time it, it, what those what, what those evil agents did was just delayed inevitable. Nigeria returned to military rule. Dreams and hopes of eventual freedom is shattered. Issues of democracy, good governance and human rights became strained. People came out regardless of, of religion, regardless of nationality. It was the first time that Nigeria did not see, or Nigerians did not see anything wrong in a particular religion. You understand? Running as president and as vice. That's a Muslim-Muslim ticket. But can we say of the same 
in present day Nigeria where you have a Christian Christian ticket or a Muslim Muslim ticket or an African traditional believers ticket. No, people will raise dust. You understand? That shows the credibility of those individuals that run on that platform. And that shows the, 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 the magnanimity of Nigerians to have thrown away uh, ethnic chauvinism, thrown away religious bias. And when full-fledged, for the integrity of those individuals, believing that they will bring succor to their doorstep and they will make their vote count, they will revamp the lost glory of this country and of course make Nigeria the, sleep, the, the giant of Africa once again.